In the heart of the Bermuda Triangle, where the ocean's depths concealed mysteries beyond human comprehension, there existed a phenomenon feared by sailors and scientists alike, narcosis. It wasn't just a mere physiological effect of deep-sea diving, it was a challenge to the human mind, a threshold beyond which rationality blurred and the subconscious took control. Dr. Emma Harrington, a renowned marine biologist, was fascinated by the enigma of narcosis. Determined to unravel its secrets, she organized an ambitious expedition aboard the research vessel, Abyssal Explorer. Accompanied by a team of skilled divers and scientists, Emma embarked on a mission to explore the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. As the team descended into the abyss, the pressure outside the submersible increased, pressing against the reinforced glass like unseen hands of the deep. Emma, however, was undeterred, her curiosity overcoming any fear. They reached a depth where narcosis was known to be most potent, a place where reality blurred, and the mind played tricks. During a routine dive, Emma and her team encountered an ancient, eerie shipwreck. The hull, covered in centuries of coral growth, seemed to whisper tales of long-lost sailors. Emma, succumbing to the effects of narcosis, felt an inexplicable connection to the wreck. A haunting feeling settled over her as her subconscious mind started to weave stories from the remnants of the ship. Inside the wreck, time seemed to stand still. The walls were adorned with fading paintings of a maritime utopia, now reduced to a desolate, underwater grave. As Emma explored further, she began to perceive voices, echoes from the past, telling of a cursed artifact hidden within the wreck. Driven by an inexplicable compulsion, Emma unearthed a mysterious, ornate box. It radiated an ominous energy, a phenomenon perhaps explainable by the peculiar composition of the metal. As she studied it, the narcosis intensified, causing hallucinations and altering her perception of reality. Emma's team, sensing something was amiss, tried to intervene, but they too succumbed to the narcotic depths. Their scientific minds were clouded, and rationality gave way to the primal instincts buried within their psyche. The abyssal explorer, once a symbol of human exploration, now drifted aimlessly in the depths, its crew lost to the narcotic abyss. The ship, a relic of human ingenuity, became a silent testament to the mysteries that lay beneath, reminding the world that even in the pursuit of knowledge, there were depths where science met the unfathomable, where the human mind became as enigmatic as the ocean itself. Months after the ill-fated expedition, a rescue team was sent to investigate the disappearance of the abyssal explorer and its crew. The team, consisting of experienced divers and scientists, embarked on a mission to uncover the truth behind the mysterious events that had unfolded in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. As their submersible descended into the abyss, they discovered the eerie silence that enveloped the wreck of the abyssal explorer. The once vibrant research vessel now stood as a ghostly reminder of the perils of the deep sea. The rescue team carefully explored the wreck, their powerful underwater lights cutting through the darkness to reveal the haunting scene within. Amidst the remnants of scientific equipment and personal belongings, they found the lifeless bodies of Emma Harrington and her team, their faces frozen in expressions of fear and confusion. The rescue team documented the scene meticulously, taking photographs and samples, determined to understand what had transpired. Back at the research facility, experts delved into the data and samples collected from the wreck. As they analyzed the findings, they began to uncover strange anomalies in the crew's brain scans, indicative of an altered state of consciousness. The narcosis, it seemed, had triggered a collective descent into madness, blurring the line between reality and hallucination. The scientists, driven by their pursuit of knowledge, continued their research, unaware of the lingering effects of the narcosis. Soon, members of the research team began to experience disturbing visions and unexplainable phenomena. Whispers filled the air, and shadows seemed to dance in the periphery of their vision, leaving them on edge. One by one, the scientists succumbed to the psychological strain, their minds unraveling under the weight of the underwater nightmare. The rescue mission, intended to shed light on the mysteries of the abyss, had become a chilling tale of the human psyche's vulnerability in the face of the unknown. The Bermuda Triangle, already infamous for its enigmas, had claimed yet another group of curious souls, leaving the world above to wonder about the horrors that lurk beneath the waves. The expedition, once filled with hope and scientific curiosity, ended as a cautionary tale, reminding humanity that the ocean's depths held secrets that could shatter the strongest minds and plunge even the bravest into the abyss of madness.